have been trying to do something to get me prepared for my teaching job in August. Um, so I bought a couple of supplies for myself as well, just be better prepared. So I did get myself this cute binder from Target. What really sold me on it is that it has these notepads and free stickers. I just love having like resources that all match. And then it did come with the file folders already in there, the matching ones. And I've just been slowly adding in resources that I've bought from Teachers Pay Teachers, which I'll link down below. And I put them in these like protective sheets, but I will have to take some of these pages out just so that I can write on them and then slip them back in. But I wanted to add that just to keep them better protected. And then I have this binder. So I bought this resource also off of Teachers Pay Teachers, but I ran out of ink that day and I didn't keep printing the stuff out. So I have to do that today. And this one was called, I think the first week something survival kit. Um, and it's a pretty awesome resource. I was looking at the stuff it has. The part that I like the most is that it has like a teacher dictionary part in it. And yeah, I just kind of have to look through all the things that I have and put them in here and then start writing things down because currently I'm creating a lot of documents on my Google Drive and keeping those there. But I also do want to have an opportunity to be able to write things in these binders that I bought. <laughs> Another thing I want to work on today is creating my substitute plan. So I try to do a lot of things to set myself up for success when I was student teaching. So I did keep a copy of my mentor teacher's substitute plans just because I wanted to remember what her layout was, um, how she just formatted things. So I'm going to be using this. I'm going to use her substitute plans to help me formulate my own. And I'm really excited to do it. Obviously, it's not going to be the same. When I was student teaching, it was a first grade classroom. I'm going to have my second grade classroom and curriculum is different but it just always helps you out so much to see like an example of what someone would do and I also have more stuff from Amazon coming in today so I'm kind of torn as to when I should make an Amazon wishlist video I think that'll be the next video I upload after this one just because I have had mine up for a while and um, people have purchased some really really amazing tools for me to use in my classroom so I'm excited to show you guys what I have and how I plan on using it so yeah definitely keep an eye out for that video and let me know if there's other videos you would like to see so just comment those down below um i'm gonna eat my croissant and then when i meet up with you guys next it'll be to show you what i have been preparing for this first school year my parent teacher meeting contract so i just have this contract because i want to focus on four important parts with parents so it's respectful communication constructive collaboration professional conduct and how i have a zero abuse policy for our meetings this is just to ensure that parents know that there will not be any inappropriate behavior accepted from them and then I'll have the parent sign date and then I'll sign and date it as well. Then I also have my parent student teacher contract which is basically it's similar to the parent one except it's just more about focusing that all three people know what is expected of them. So I have the parent guardian responsibilities here, the teacher responsibilities, and the student responsibilities. And then it just says by signing below, we acknowledge our commitment to this parent teacher student contract. And then once again, everybody will sign. And then another thing I created, which I feel like will be really, really useful to me, is that I have my morning meeting prompts already written out and I separated them by month. So I have August, September, October, and the list goes on. And I have about 20 to 24 morning meetings prompts written out for each month. Obviously, this isn't something that's set in stone, but it'll help me when I create my morning meeting slideshows that I like to do. So I have that prepared as well. And then I also just created this document to help me in my classroom. So these are my classroom jobs. And I told myself I wasn't going to do a theme, but then I was like, okay, I'm kind of bored this summer. So I'm going to create my own theme. So I'm doing tropical. And so it's just a really cute, simple uh, work card. And then I have, I think I have like 24 jobs, which is a lot, but I wanted to make a lot of the ones that I could potentially want in my classroom, even though they won't be in rotation the whole way. And then I just have some extra like numbers for them. The next thing we have here is my tropical room decor. So I created some labels for my rolling cart. So I have those there. I have a rolling cart that's 15 drawers, but five are bigger ones on um, this size. And then there's the 10 smaller ones. So that's why I have two different sizes for that. Again, 
and I have a number system for my students this year so I have that on this side and then as you scroll down it's just more little labels so I plan on using these specifically for my mailbox and then I have the labels from earlier again and then I made my alphabet posters another wall decor aspect I have is the signs that I want to have in my classroom so at my school they get mini water bottles so each student will have their own water bottle and hopefully someone purchases from my wish list these like shoe organizers that I have because I need two of them for the idea I have but basically it'll be a hydration station so I have all the letters for that here and then I'll have the shoe organizers hanging under the sign and then I can put a number on each shoe organizer and then everybody can slip their water bottle onto there so that they can have it accessible and everybody knows where to put it and then I just have happy birthday poster sign as well and I'm gonna do ice creams as my happy birthday poster element just because I saw this in one of my mentor teachers um, friends group in the school so basically just another teacher and it was pretty cute so the cones are the month and then the ice cream scoop itself will actually um, hold the student's name on it as you can see I'm not putting names directly on these because I want to be able to reuse these for the following school year but I have those set as well so I'm pretty excited to use that so I forgot to film an outro yesterday for the video so I'm just gonna do one now thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions or comments about the content that I created please just leave a comment down below or you can head to my Instagram and DM me as well I try to answer all messages that I get on there and I'm pretty active on Instagram I did put that handle in the video twice but it'll also be down in the description box I hope you guys have a great one <laughs> I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and hopefully are productive okay bye <laughs>